Hello, I'm Andy Hughes. And I'm Sam Brady. And we'd like to welcome you to GD News. Some of you may be wondering what this program is all about. GD News is a revolutionary, state-of-the-art broadcast designed to drastically enrich and stimulate your education, spurring forth your intellectual growth span and high school career. I only hope that you all enjoy watching it half as much as we enjoy making it. In our first story tonight, Mr. Arena has left on a sabbatical to visit various parts of Europe, primarily Italy, for several months. We caught up with Mr. Arena before his big trip and asked him how it's looking. I'm taking a sabbatical, which is a paid leave of absence. Companies offer it, other school systems offer it. Uh, we offer it to a teacher who has been teaching in the system for seven years. I'm taking a half year sabbatical. And what I'm going to be doing is researching a number of different topics that we, we currently teach. What I hope to do is to have an interactive classroom w with the students back here at Groton Dunstable. And in order to do that, what we have uh, recently purchased with the uh, money that we received a grant from the GDEF, and they uh, allowed us to purchase the software, which enables me to, it's, to conduct a sort of a, a live classroom from Italy. I'm going to Italy, and one of the main reasons why I'm going to Italy is because I want to get as far away from Mr. Woods as possible, and that's really important. Uh, w but it will be in Trieste. Trieste is where I lived before, and that's where I'm, I'm going to be. That's going to be my home base for, for the duration of my stay. It's in Trieste. It's about an hour and a half east of Venice. It is. A, it's a wonderful benefit that that um, teachers receive in, in some schools they, they force you on they force you to take sabbaticals they see the value in it in, in one not only just uh, going out and doing some some pretty interesting things or some getting involved in professional development with, or writing a book or traveling or doing something but also just to sort of step away from a from what you're doing for a bit just so you come back fresh and have a much better appreciation for 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 where we are in our top story the tsunami relief effort has been enormously successful, generating over $7,000 in just one month. The effort was organized largely by Vivian Lee, a senior here at Groton Dunstable. Well, basically, once I heard the news about the tsunami over winter vacation, I sent out an email to Ms. Maloney saying that I wanted to do something. And the week that we came back, everything just started rolling. We had meetings. and. Ideas just came up. A lot of volunteers were available. People were very enthusiastic. And it just took out from there. Not only the high school, but the entire school district has been um, putting in effort to make this possible. The elementary schools have also been selling bracelets. I know Swallow Union was selling bracelets. And um, I think all the schools have their little fundraiser as well. But they all go toward the same cause, which is making $10,000. Everyone has been donating money, and it's wonderful. In sports this week, the Crusaders played the game of their lives on Monday night against Shrewsbury. GD won 2-1 to one in overtime. Here's a clip with commentator Jim Curzo as Mike Fredrickson scores the game-winning goal. Gets it to Fredrickson! Fredrickson on the break! Chance to win it for Mike! Just he scores! Fredrickson scores! The Crusaders win it overtime! 2-1! to one. They're going to the semifinals! The Crusaders advanced to the semifinal game on Wednesday night against Marlborough. The makers of the senior video need your help. Bring in pictures or videos to Sam Brady, Kevin Edmonds, or Dan Roy by the end of next week. Alcohol Awareness Week, previously known as Sad Week, will begin the week of April 11th. Spearheading this year's events are Liz Egan, Jenna Besselow, and Kristen Esterbrook. We'd also like to wish Miss Bourgeois good luck as she enters retirement. Mrs. Brisson will be her replacement in senior project class. Well, that's all the time we have this week. I'm Sam Brady. And I'm Andy Hughes. Good night. And good luck.